The Meiji Institute for Advanced Study of Mathematical Sciences is an international research center located in Tokyo, Japan. It is one of the institutes of Meiji University, and its members are studying a vast range of natural and social phenomena through mathematical modeling and scientific experimentation. The official motto of our institute is Math Everywhere. By this, we mean that mathematics provides a common language for understanding a wide range of phenomena in nature and in society. Our institute was founded in 2007 under the initiative of Professor Masayas Mimura to promote cross-border research. In 2014, our institute was recognized by the Japanese government as one of four research centers of mathematical sciences in Japan. My principal background is mathematics, but at this institute there are a broad variety of people from such disciplines as biology, chemistry, engineering, and finance. Internal seminars and symposia are held regularly, and we also host a variety of workshops proposed by researchers from all over Japan. Typically, these problems are solved in a time-independent setting. People now come from across Japan and the world to visit and discuss at our institute. In 2016, we started a new program that covers optical illusion, origami engineering, financial crisis, machine learning, and self-organization. Animal often shows left right asymmetric structure in their body. For example, human heart is biased to the left. Surprisingly, the gut of the fly is also arranged as biased as the human heart. I started collaboration with well-known experimentalist Professor Matsuno at Osaka University and trying mathematical model to explain the phenomena observed in experiments. Professor Matsuno has a technology based on gene manipulation that can reverse the chirality of the gut of the fly. And this gives us precious information about how the system reacts to parameter change. I'm trying to improve my modeling using this information. In experiments, we can observe in detail the tissue and the cell that make up the whole gut. As a result of observation, it is known that the shell shape is different before and after the gut is twisted. Using mathematics, it is possible to explain the formation of the whole gut twist. Origami engineering seeks to develop traditional Japanese origami art and combine it with mathematical and engineering technology. We consider incorporating folding into engineering applications. We have developed products that can be stored in small spaces, making good use of the foldable feature of origami. In addition, we are researching for foldable, light and stiff origami structures as represented by the honeycomb structure. In the study of foldable plastic bottles, we use geometric relations for folding. In order to be able to fold it beautifully, thickness must be also taken into consideration and mathematical ideas are used in the process of optimization. We receive instructions from mathematics professors who specialize in geometry and mechanical engineering professors, and work with researchers from overseas as well as the Japanese to carry out projects. MIMS has the excellent research environment where you can try various things according to your challenge spirit. What is life and what is not life? I have been interested in this question for a long time, but it is a tough question. The circular objects are not living cells, but just aqueous droplets in oil. Oscillatory reaction go in each droplet and let it move in an oscillatory manner. Namely, even non-living systems can reproduce a part of the nature of living systems. Mathematical models help us understand the origin of such a lifelike behavior and clarify the kinship among the non-living and living systems. As a chemist, I'm enjoying my collaboration with good mathematicians to conduct a unique interdisciplinary sciences in this institute. Droplet motions and interfacial dynamics are a fundamental theme in the physical sciences, and as such, there is a high demand for effective computational methods across the field of applications. However, droplet and other free surface motions can be highly complex. Yet, 
mathematics provides us with an unbiased means through which we can describe our phenomena. In particular, by extending the application of minimizing movements to hyperbolic free boundary problems, we have designed approximation methods which can not only solve our model equations, but which can also be used in simulations. The result is a mathematical framework which is able to describe droplet and other oscillatory interfacial motions. The researchers at our institute come from different disciplines, and we have people visiting from all over the world on a regular basis. I can therefore always find someone who is eager to discuss, and this provides me with the opportunity to exchange ideas with researchers from within Japan, as well as with people from abroad. As interdisciplinary studies are becoming more and more important, we hope our institute will continue to provide an open platform for cross-border research. We hope for the opportunity to collaborate with you in the future and to welcome you someday to Meiji University in Tokyo.